What's up guys, Rockjester Gaming here, and we are back with another guide to 7 Days to Die. This episode, we are going to work on quickly leveling items with the workbench. Now, <clears throat> for most players, again, this is common knowledge. This guide is not for you. This is for the complete noob who has just started playing the game who doesn't really know any better. So, what this is basically used for primarily is you're playing a, a multiplayer game with a couple people, you're starting off new... You want it, You are the one that's basically in charge of getting all the tools for everybody in the party up to snuff. So, rather than sit there and level up and level up and try and farm mats for yourself, there's a quicker way to do it. As you can see, if I craft a stone axe here, my level is 68. Now, as I keep crafting and crafting, that level will go up. But, there's a quicker way to do that in the workbench. As an example, you craft another one, 69, but if I combine them, over here on the right, now they're 72. So, normally what happens is when I first started playing this game, I thought, combine, okay, I can combine a flashlight and a football helmet, and I'll get a mining helmet. Not quite. There is a recipe for that, but that's not how this works. Combining is basically meant for repairing items, kind of the, the poor man's way. Repairing items or just combining them to make them better. Now, the one main advantage to this is you have two separate cues. You have a separate one for the workbench here, and then you have your main one here when you hit tab. So, how can we use this to quickly level up? I'll show you. Go to your stone axe, and this is, can be used with almost any item that's a tool that you can construct. So, we're going to just make ten of them, okay? While we wait for those to generate, we're going to go over to our tool bench, or our workbench, excuse me. And as you can see, look, they're starting to come in. We only made 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're halfway there. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Now, the last one that I made is a level 78. If we combine on the way there, I'm already a 78. So, let's go. Now, if I make them continually, I'm currently at level 78. I'll probably hit 79 with the next one. And now just combining the 10 that I had, I'm at level 102. Okay? So, you can see how this will greatly increase your usability and increase your productivity of the tools real, real quick. Uh, 102, that was combined, versus the 79 that I just made. I can combine them more, get a 105. So, 105 versus 80. As you get higher and higher, they give you more per combine because it's higher level, it's a higher quality tool. So you're going to get a better tool out of it when you combine it. But, I mean, yeah, basically that's it. So, uh, I wouldn't recommend using this if you're by yourself because you're only going to be generating your own tools. If you know what you're doing and you really want to get going quickly, then yes, you can combine items and get a higher level tool very quickly. But Typically, you're still going to need to rely on yourself to generate the tools in the first place. I hope you found this uh, guide informative uh, as much as I did, because I didn't know this when I started playing it. When someone told me to combine, how to combine items, it, it was just completely changed the game for me. So, I am Rockchester Gaming. If you liked the video, hit that like button, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button, leave a comment below, let me know what you think I could have done better. Uh, Again, this was 7 Days to Die, basic survival tips and tricks, and how to combine things at the workbench, and I'll see you in the next video.